So the show is made up of uh, 17 objects um, that um, loosely speaking fit into three different categories. These mantelpiece dogs, these uh, 19th century meta-modern cubist busts, and then these um, sort of lobby objects, globular objects, which are derived from um, early Parisian abstraction. So the space is set up with a series of protagonists who are either soliciting voyeurism or looking at you, sometimes both, actually typically both. The images are sometimes portraits and sometimes body fragments, often uh, in swimwear. Predominantly, the protagonists are male and friends of mine who I know personally, quite closely, quite intimately. Um, but there are some curveballs. Um, Cindy Crawford is in there from a calendar from the 90s. I've always been quite intrigued by Cindy Crawford, um, that particular moment where uh, she was quite strong, physically, athletically strong, very beautiful and quite androgynous. When I was a teenager, I had, I had those calendars pinned to the wall. And um, as a gay teenager, I was effectively queering this supermodel which is yeah. quite a strange thing to do. And I think my access to querying her was probably through the swimwear. Effectively, there was this homogeneity um, of body by cladding it in spandex. So arguably the Cindy Crawford component is kind of like a metonym. It's kind of like a sort of uh, a stand-in for the, the whole show where the swimwear is both um, sort of the kink, but also the, um, the safety net. Uh, we're permitted to go to the beach and wear swimwear, um, but also up close, uh, super glossy. Um, it kind of has this slightly sort of kinky bent to it. The show, uh, a big chunk of the show is a collaboration with a photographer called Louis Banks. Louis Banks is um, based in London uh, and Paris. Uh, he's very young, early 20s, and completely incredible. He often shoots his friends from the queer scene, but also some quite incredible celebrities. Um, and I think, I think he's good because he, is, um, he puts people at ease and as a result really empowers them. The photos he's shot of, of some quite significant people, uh, I feel like they do things with Louis that they wouldn't do with anyone else. Um, and um, yeah, uh, I collaborate a lot. I think collaboration is sort of built into sculpture. In this show alone, uh, in addition to my studio team, there's the digital facilities, the mold makers, um, the casting component, like there are so many people I collaborated to make this particular project happen. Um, and given my entire practice is kind of examining the idea of authorship, that would make sense. Mm -hmm. um, however, in this show, there is a layer of authorship um, because it's autobiographical. Uh, a lot of the, apart from Cindy Crawford, a lot of the protagonists are people I know very well. Um, intimately, lovers, ex-lovers. Um, so uh, I think the show is riddled with contradictions. For a long time, my work has been uh, predominantly monochrome, uh, either black bronze or white marble synthetic. And um, it's only really been in the last year that I've been trying to engage with color and these images. Um, the these objects are super glossy the they have many 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 layers of this incredible gloss lacquer which um really enhances the liquidityness of the images and also um also is kind of reminiscent of the liquid crystal displays of our phones and screens um so um yeah these 
lobby hands art sculptures are um, like only a millimeter beyond my phone in my pocket. 